Okay, here I am, Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole. I hold a PhD in public health with a specialization in epidemiology. I hold a Master of Science degree in human nutrition, and I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in alternative medicine. In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss how a student who has just completed their degree program, whether it's a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a doctorate degree, a person who has just completed a degree and has limited experience, okay, among all of the students who are getting their degrees today, there are a number of students who are going straight through school, okay? They're graduating from high school, they're getting their bachelor's degree, they're getting their master's degree, they're getting their PhD, and they have very limited work experience. So the question is, how do I take my educational experience and walk into the workforce with confidence from what I've learned, the knowledge I've gained, the skills and the abilities that I've gained as a student and what i did was for example i'll use my phd when i completed my phd uh, for most of you who have completed a phd or who desire to complete one you're going to perform a final assignment which is going to be a research assignment and you are going to publish that research. So you're going to reach out to um, peer-reviewed journal articles and you're going to get that research published. And what happens is, um, I have an example of one here uh, on my screen. This is one that I have uh, performed and I'm making an example of it, okay? That's Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole. And uh, what I'm doing is, okay, make sure it's straight. Um, what I do is when you know that you have limited experience, okay, you're still qualified for a job with limited experience, okay? So you go in and it's okay, depending on, uh, the team that is hiring you and what they're looking for, do not be discouraged. I know from experience, there are a lot of institutions, organizations, and companies who are looking for degree holders that qualify them for positions who are not yet um, mastered in their skills, okay? They have the knowledge, they have the capability, but they're looking for a mentor, they're looking for an organization or institution that can guide them in developing, okay, as a professional. So do not get discouraged. There are companies, there are organizations that will take you in, that will train you, that will mentor you because they want an employee that they can develop. Okay, there are a lot of people who have been out in the field, they've done so much work, and it's just like almost a relationship. When a person has been single for so long, and they have had the opportunity to grow and develop in age, and get set in their ways, they're less likely sometimes to be open to difference or open to compromise because they're so comfortable doing what they do, doing what they want to do when they want to do, and they can control their environment. So similarly, in comparison to the workforce, there are companies that are not looking for that. They don't want someone who is knowledgeable, skilled, and has all the abilities, but they are not, oh gosh, but they are not really coachable. They're not able to come in and maybe do things the way that the organization wants to do them. 
Uh, so it's important for you to be skilled and to be knowledgeable, but also when you're working with organizations, sometimes they just want you to be able to work with them. And if you're so advanced that you're unable to work well with others for their goals um, and their objectives because you're so experienced, it could be challenging. So a person who um, has potential is still encouraged. So don't be discouraged. Don't feel like there's no hope for you. Trust me, I have been there. I have done that. And I know from experience that it can be really tough and it can be frustrating for you as a degree holder or for someone who has a degree and you have no experience and you still want to be able to work in your field, there is hope for you. There is hope for you. Again, there is hope for you. So stay with it. Stay encouraged. You will be hired if it's your dream job, if it's just a desire that you have. It will work out, okay? There are many, I know it doesn't maybe not seem like it to you in your search or in your journey, but there are many organizations and institutions that want to hire you, that want to train you, that want to mentor you. And, um, you know, and, and these are not just internships because internships, uh, for a lot of people or most that I've seen have a window of time. So, okay, we're going to get this degree and within six months, you have an opportunity to find an internship. And if anybody who has applied for internships um, with organizations, big reputable companies, they're competitive. So you're applying just as you would for a job and they're going with the best candidate and they're looking for people who do have experience, um, whether it was volunteer experience or something. So you get the question all of the time, how do I get experience if I don't get experience to get experience? I've been there. So again, I was able to get my dream job. Okay, I was able to obtain my dream job, okay, with um, very little experience because they were looking to train someone, they were looking to bring someone on. And again, like I stated in one of my previous videos that I just posted, there's a lot that you have to have mentally. You have to be mentally strong because the workforce has changed. But to um, just stick with the subject here, I just want to continue to inspire, encourage, and motivate others to know that whatever your goals are outside of getting that degree, you can attain them, okay? Give yourself grace, be patient with yourself and know that you will get that job, okay? You you do have what it takes and it takes more than just having a degree. It takes personality, it takes character, it takes willingness, determination, you know, it, it just takes so much more um, than just having the degree. So there is a company, an organization that's looking for you, so just stay inspired, stay encouraged, um, I am Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of The Faith Outcome. I have some book products that you can find on my website that are inspiring, that are motivating, that are encouraging, okay, on any topic for you as an individual, for you as a professional, for you in any area of life, any circumstance or situation that you may be faced with along your journey of life. And I am encouraging you with words. I'm encouraging you to find that strength within you to have the confidence to know that there's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that you cannot achieve. And you're on your way to greatness. You just have to be 
patient with yourself. And if you say, well, I've been patient and just be a little bit more patient. But um, I am here for students. I am here for new employees who have limited experience and they just want to be inspired. I'm here to tell you I've been there, done that on so many different sides at so many different angles. And I know from a student to an employee to a business owner to I just no, I've I've experienced it and I have experienced the hardship, the frustration, um, just the mental strain, the discouragement that comes with the new workforce and how people are just not really that nice. Um, and, you know, they're not really that helpful either sometimes. So, I know what it is, and I just want to be one uh, reference and one resource to help people stay encouraged and motivated. This is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com saying stay motivated and stay inspired.